Des and Krista first met in the seventh grade at Mission Middle School. They were the best of friends growing up and also went to Bellevue West High School together. Des and Krista were always hanging out with their group of friends and in their senior year of high school, Krista made her move and Des and Krista started dating. <laughs> Throughout the years, Des and Krista developed a strong friendship that evolved into love. After meeting with Des and Krista, it's easy to see that they have a deep love for one another and a relaxed outlook on life. They are both strong individuals, but as a team, they are much stronger. Beautiful, loving, smart, generous, strong, and kind. Treasured and loved by anyone who is lucky enough to really know her. These are just a few words that I would use to describe my daughter. I used to wonder how someone could ever compete with such a lovely person. Would she ever meet her match? And who would be deserving of this wonderful person that she is? So I'm here today to say that it didn't take long to meet someone who perfectly compliments her. <laughs> Y'all didn't even get out of middle school. I knew Des was the one for Krista when she was traveling to all of his baseball games. I thought to myself, she's crazy. But little did I know she was crazy in love, 100% committed to this man. They knew it, time, distance, nothing could separate them. They knew that what they had was right and it was real. If they can conquer long distance relationships, then I have faith that they can conquer marriage. Marriage isn't easy. Love isn't always perfect. It doesn't always come easy. Love is overcoming obstacles, facing challenges, and fighting to be together, holding on and never letting go. It's a short word and easy to spell, difficult to define and impossible to live without. <laughs> love is work, but most of all, love is realizing that every hour, every minute and every second was worth it because you did it together. Ah, oh, this is day. I gotta turn around. All right. Okay, I will. <laughs> Can I turn around now? No. Oh. Baby! <laughs> oh, you're so fun. Oh my dear. You are so beautiful. <laughs> I don't want to come under your dress. I don't want to come under your dress. You look so beautiful. Oh my God. Oh, oh my baby. Look at you. Oh. Oh, oh my baby. Oh man. Hold on, I got one. Oh, you don't want to say you're. Can I have one of those? Yeah, she go for it. Uh, I'm not sure which pocket she put it in, but she put it. In. What pocket? Uh, what pocket did you put it in? I don't know. Oh here. You are so beautiful. Oh my God. You look good with your haircut. <sighs> <laughs> oh my god. 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 tight to the hand of your beloved, knowing that they are your ally and your best friend who loves you deeply and unconditionally for everything that you are. As you commit to one another in marriage, you're promising to continue on your path together and to work to strengthen and renew your marriage every day. Together you will grow, both individually and as a couple, into the best that you can be. We don't want it's Montreal. 
Barfield Roberts. From this day forward, whatever happens, you shall not walk alone. I will stand by your side and sleep in your arms. I will be the joy in your heart and the food for your soul. Through our brightest days and our darkest nights, our darkest nights, I will be with you always. I will be with you always. In the presence of God, in the presence of God and our family and friends. I promise you these things today and all of the days of my life. Today I am married, the most amazing person I know. I promise to love you and to cherish you for the rest of my life. To always be truthful and honest. And to work to make our dreams. And to work to make our dreams. And aspirations come true. And aspirations come true. I am marrying my best friend. I'm marrying my best friend. The one I want to spend the rest of my life with. We were meant to be together. It was our destiny. You are my friend, my love, and my life's companion. And at this time, I am overjoyed to pronounce that you are husband and wife, and to say, Des, you may kiss your beautiful bride. I just want to start off by saying thank you to everybody for showing up for my brother's wedding. I mean, I mean, I really appreciate it. I mean, when I first met him, it was with a smile. And ever since then, it's the same old thing, man. Uh, when you think of a human being, I mean, nobody's perfect or anything like that. Um, but I mean, he's close to a perfect human being as you can get. Uh, very selfless, very selfless person. person. Uh, that's a friend you want in your corner. That's a friend you want forever. Uh, he'll get in a fight with you. He'll fight for you. Shit, he'll fight against you. Shit. Speaking from experience, so. You know, it's been a blessing to get to watch the both of them grow from just boyfriend and girlfriend to now husband and wife. Um, there's not many memories. I've, I've, I've spent my 20s with them. I'm 29 now. I was 20 when I met them. Not many memories I have uh, without the both of them. Um, I'm an old soul kind of guy, and uh, every time they're in Denver, whether Des just wanted to come or Krista was recruiting, they would always call me, hey, let's go to dinner. Hey, let's go catch a movie. Hey, let's go have some drinks. And nobody does that anymore. You make it work anywhere, whether it's North Carolina, whether it's Shadron, and, and that's what it's all about. Mm-hmm.